Good evening, everyone. I'm Dr. Rohan Khandelwal, your marrow surgery faculty, and the FMG results have just been declared. I have the great honor of talking to Dr. Rutwik, who's uh, secured a score of 241 in the recently conducted exam. Hardiest congratulations, Dr. Rutwik. Thank you, sir. It means a lot. How does it feel? Has, has it finally sunk in that you've scored this, uh, you've got this amazing score in the FMG exam? No, no, it feels surreal. I checked my result for like 50 times and yeah, <laughs> that's about it. Great. So, uh, Dr. Rutvik, you've been our Marrow Plan C user since the last seven to eight months. Yeah. Why don't you tell us uh, where did you graduate from and tell us your journey with Marrow? Uh, I graduated from Anna Medical College, Mauritius and uh, yeah. So you started uh, using Marrow post your graduation or were you using Marrow during your graduation as well? Uh, I, yeah, it was post graduation. I just stuck to books before and the sample videos of Marrow on YouTube. Yeah, that's right. about it. Okay. So post that you took up Marrow Plan C. What did you do in seven months to get this uh, great score? I know what you've read in college also plays a huge role in this. But uh, how did you utilize Marrow uh, to achieve this score? So first, uh, this good thing that Marrow has the option of FMG and Need PG that you can toggle between. You get the separate question banks which are apt for those exams. But I relied mostly on the Need PG Q banks, and towards the end, last three months, I solved the FMG also all the PYQs and everything. I made sure of bookmarks, custom modules. Custom modules are a great option in Marrow, which helped a lot. Right. So I think so. Uh, that's a very good advice which you're giving that if you always train harder, if you yeah. uh, train for the more difficult exam or uh, a higher level of difficulty questions, you can easily solve the questions which uh, are being asked in the FMG exam. Having said that, this year's FMG paper was quite tricky. In fact, there were certain questions which I would say were more challenging than what is asked in uh, NEET PG and INICET. So having that background always gives you an edge over others. Yeah, true, true. It was on par with INA, I would say. Okay. So uh, in terms of videos, which all video lectures did you watch from Maro? Uh, I... For the core topics which I've been asked all the time, I went and watched the main videos. And mm. by the end of the four, last four months, I did the uh, rapid revision at, at least twice. Okay, great. And uh, did you make your own notes or were you relying on the printed notes which were provided by Maru? No, actually, I don't have printed notes. I, I don't believe in that because I cannot until I write it and memorize it myself. So Great. I, I think so that's own. another. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, I did my own, and I made sure that those GT score points which I'm getting wrong will be in a separate book, and I have to go through that in the end of the first month because those marks come only from those mistakes you're getting. That's correct. That's correct. So I think so. That's another plus point because when you write your own notes, the retention is definitely better. Yeah. And it gives you an idea of regarding what to revise uh, towards the end as well. Uh, I think I did last three years of I9, last three years of NEET PG, and yeah, last five years of FMG. I was sure that I was thorough with those topics, and I can't leave any one of those. Great. Great. Uh, so in terms of video lectures, anything which stood out in the Marrow lectures, which um, uh, you would say helped you in retaining things in a better manner yeah i think the rapid revision is pretty apt all the it covers most of the topics done in INA and need pg i think that gives the edge for fmg users absolutely correct so i think so the rapid revision all the faculties have put in a lot of effort to include all the pyqs and pyts so that in that uh, short span of time you uh, get a very high yield uh, short capsule right, right. which can cover up a lot of uh, topics for your exam what was your strategy dr Rutvik, uh, after covering a, a topic from theory were you solving the questions uh, immediately after that or was it after a lag of few days 
uh i think it's better to solve right then and there so that what you read and what you heard will be imprinted when you just solve it and you will yeah. know what part of the video you haven't heard properly or what you have to go back i agree i mean i used to follow the same strategy although some students uh, do it after the few days to see if they had if they've retained that thing or not i think so both work well but uh, i also used to follow what you you have uh, done yeah. this time around. when you were solving the q bank did you have a particular percentage correct in mind or were you just using the q bank as another learning tool i think if you have expectation they always disappoint so you just have to go with the flow and get the just apply it's a learning tool it's not going to get you something anywhere you have to learn correct those the mistakes are the problems are those ones which is going to come in the exam just focus on the mistakes i was getting on an average i would say 75 76% of the q bank all the time so there were That's also uh, some topics which i was getting 20% 30% so those i had to watch rewatch the video again uh, take the help of main videos to understand the topic perfect i think so that that's uh, the app strategy to follow uh, whether it's the fmg exam or the neet pg yeah. or the iict exam now uh, in the qbank were you bookmarking these questions or you said that you were maintaining a diary where all the questions yeah. that you were getting wrong you were noting down the explanations there for revision so i yeah i used a bookmark but in the end there was so much bookmark accumulated i couldn't so there's this thing called magic module i guess Correct. So that thing will give you all the mistakes you have done. So I use that in, towards the end leg of the preparation. That also helped me. Did you also utilize the help of custom modules towards the end yeah, to yeah, just definitely. choose the PYQs and the important topics and then solve questions? Yeah. So when I did a topic today, I did the Q bank right then and there. Then by the end of uh, the week, the entire week's portions I would do as a custom module. yeah that that uh, again is a great strategy you mentioned gts when did you start appearing for gts and how frequently were you taking them so gt i think i started one the first gt i gave was in uh, april and i scored like 180 or 190 i don't remember and uh, uh, and then i gave the national mock then after that i kept giving once in every 10 to 12 days okay and what was your score in the national mock i had scored 224 so did that boost your confidence that you know if you're solving if you're getting a 224 there you were reasonably confident that you will clear the exam it was just uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. a matter of what score you would land up with eventually actually need the mock i mean the national mock actually gave me the confidence but i knew i am going to pass after i got uh, 180 in that uh, april gt with minimal preparation like i had not completed a lot of subjects right great i think so, so I, you know having that confidence uh, in the back of your mind that you're going to clear the exam then also you know um, you're a bit relaxed when you appear for the exam yeah. uh, you don't have that uh, a uh, thing hanging around your neck that whether i'll pass or fail so uh, that then helps you to perform better eliminate more options and then it's about getting a great score which you eventually did yeah yeah that's true and i didn't study the entire day i just did like 6 hours of whatever time felt fit for me i just randomly woke up at 3 in the morning 1 in the morning 1 in the afternoon i just studied whenever i want i regularly used to go out i use i go to the gym every day so great. yeah great so um let's talk about the revision strategy as well i mean how did you revise in the last one month if you could uh, go through that i'm sure that would help future aspirants as well so the last one month i think that's the thing which got me to the score uh, so what was the strategy was the gt score whatever the 70 or uh, whatever i got it wrong i made sure that why i got it wrong and why, what was my thinking process of why i selected the wrong option so i corrected that type of skill in the last one month and i made sure i didn't touch any uh, high yield unturned 
so i just focus on the high yield topics in the last one month i just went through again and again fair enough so i think so that but also having that idea what are the high yield things is important sometimes you know yeah, students yeah. get confused there as well they just uh, keep too much uh, on their plate and uh, then they are unable to revise and they are more confused before the exam so having that clarity regarding what to revise is very important as well yeah some of the questions are always like out of your league you would, no matter what book you will read you will not find that answer so those questions should be skipped and you should just take it with a pinch of salt that's it if you don't know may somebody else also won't know it so yeah Absolutely. yeah and um let's talk about the exam per se we did discuss that the exam was tricky and challenging um fortunately you know um because there is no negative marking you can yeah, yeah. Uh, you can uh, mark all the options or mark all the answers now the thing is that those questions where you were doubtful with two or three options what were the tricks which you used to eliminate options uh, in those questions and did your gt strategy or gt solving skills help you there as well yeah yeah definitely those gt scores which the questions where you know those questions are unrelated you you need to sort of apply your concept ki how can this be solved so you cannot know everything so that's what you have to understand that nobody can know all 300 questions Right. and uh, yeah so you should just start eliminating and you choose the best possible answer which should make sense this has to fit here perfect right did you utilize the marrow pearls as well yeah 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 last uh, two months every day uh, i used pearls i used to look at those uh, patho stains those uh, gene gene numbers chromosome numbers translocations and all of that then uh, important these one liners of surgery like uh, this is the main surgical option for this disease that this so that was how it went great so where do you go from here now that you've cleared the exam what are the future goals yeah it was the last two weeks was really hectic coming because the exam was difficult so didn't know what was the future i knew i'd pass but i didn't expect this much of a score then i checked the recalls too but yeah i was not satisfied so i was just waiting it was hell the last two weeks so yeah now i'm looking forward to internship let's see what we're going to learn there and then preparing for pg as well yeah yeah definitely we hope to see you soon again 100% i uh, i hope that i am able to take your interview again in the after the neat pg exam or the inct exam yeah yeah true great it was a pleasure talking to you dr rithik it's so great to see uh, somebody who is uh, who has a very simple yet effective approach and you executed it to perfection and that's why you got such a great score please uh, congratulate your family as well from the entire maro team and it was a pleasure talking to you thank you thank you sir thank you it is honor thank you. good night thank you